Hi all, this is a complete guide for Corval Dark Beads part of the Family Battler achievement. I'll add timestamps in the description so you can easily jump to the fight you want. Most of these fights can be a little RNG due to the first pet feathers using its abilities randomly and its nocturnal strike having a 50% hit chance. So if any fail, just retry. First up is Hobbyist Aquarist. This one is quite RNG so will likely take a bunch of tries to get to work. Your first pet is Snarly with Rip, Surge and Blood in the Water. Your second pet is an otter, or similar pet, with gnaw, screech, and surge. And finally, an emerald turtle, with emerald bite, shell shield, and headbutt. Start with rip. If feathers uses lift off, cast on the next round. Once rip is applied, cast surge until feathers uses lift off. Once lift off is cast, or is on cooldown, cast blood in the water. And then surge until feathers or Snarly is defeated. If Snarly is defeated early, use your Otter's Surge to finish off Feathers. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. If Snarly is the active pet, cast Rip, followed by Blood in the Water, and then Surge until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Otter, if not in already. Start with Screech, and then use Gnaw until Splat is defeated. If your Otter is defeated early, bring in your Turtle and cast Headbutt. This should finish off Splat. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. If your Otter is still alive, cast Surge until defeated. Once defeated, your turtle enters, if not in already. Cast Shell Shield, and then just spam Emerald Bite until the fight is done. <laughs> Next up we have Beast Mode. Your first pet is a Void Stalker Runt with Blink Strike, Screech, and Comeback. Your second pet is an Ashmore Cub with Claw, Bash, and Rampage. And finally, a Zandalari Knee Biter with Hunting Party, Black Claw, and Blood Fang. A second Void Stalker Runt works here as well, maybe even better. This one may take a few tries as your Knee Biter can be defeated early by the final Pet Bright. Start with Blink Strike. Now use Comeback if Feathers uses Lift Off, otherwise, Blink Strike until Feathers or your Runt is defeated. If your Runt is defeated, bring in your Ashmore Cub and cast Claw until Feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. If your Void Stalker Runt is the active pet, cast Screech until defeated. Once your Runt is defeated, bring in your Ashmore Cub, if not in already, and cast Rampage. The second or third round of Rampage should finish off Splat and Bright enters. Wait for any rounds of Rampage to finish, then cast Bash, and swap out to your Knee Biter, or second Void Stalker Runt. With your Knee Biter in the battle, cast Black Claw, followed by Hunting Party and Blood Fang if needed. Or if using a Void Stalker Runt, just spam Blink Strike. Now for Critters with Huge Teeth, this one again may take a few tries. Your first pet is any snail, higher the power and health the better, with Ooze Touch, Shell Shield and Headbutt. Your second pet is a Spring Rabbit, with Flurry, Dodge and Burrow, and finally another snail, again higher the power and health the better, with Ooze Touch and Shell Shield. Start with Shell Shield, then cast Ooze Touch until Feathers or your snail is defeated.
I'll pass a bunch of rounds here until my snail is defeated, just to show what it's like if you get some bad RNG. If Feathers defeated your snail, bring in your Spring Rabbit and cast Flurry until Feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. If your snail was still alive, start with Headbutt and then Ooze Touch until defeated, then bring in your Rabbit. If your Spring Rabbit was the active pet, start with Flurry, followed by Dodge, then Flurry until Splat is at around 500 health, at which point cast Burrow. This should hopefully avoid Burst or finish off Splat. If not, continue to flurry until Splat is defeated. If your rabbit is also defeated early, your second snail enters. Use Oot's Touch until Splat is defeated. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. Swap out to your second snail, if not in already. Start with Shell Shield. and then spam Ooze Touch until the fight is done. Next we have Dragon to make everything better. Your first pet is Crominius, with Arcane Explosion, Ancient Blessing, and Surge of Power. Your second pet is Emigosa, with Claw, Arcane Storm, and Surge of Power. And finally, just as backup, a Stormborn Whelpling, with Mana Surge. Start with Arcane Explosion, followed by Ancient Blessing. Now use Ancient Blessing on cooldown and Arcane Explosion to fill until your Criminius is defeated. Once Criminius is defeated, bring in Emigosa. If Feathers is still alive, cast Arcane Storm and then Claw until Feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. Cast Claw until Splat is defeated. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. Cast Surge of Power. If needed, use your final pet to clean up. Next is Element of Success. Your first pet is an unstable tendril, with deep burn, scorched earth, and cauterize. Your second pet is doom bloom, with bite, consume corpse, and stun seed. And finally, any level 25 elemental pet, with a bonus damage ability to flying, such as a tiny snowman with magic hat. Start with scorched earth, and now simply use cauterize when at around half health, or when feathers uses lift off, otherwise deep burn until feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters, cast Scorched Earth on cooldown and Deep Burn to fill until defeated. Once your Tendril is defeated, bring in Doom Bloom. Use Bite until Splat gets to below 500 health. When Splat is below 500 health, cast Consume Corpse to heal if needed. Splat will then use Burst and defeat itself and Bright Enters. Cast Stun Seed. And then swap out to your Snowman. Now just spam Magic Hat until the fight is done. Now for fun with flying, the RNG here is wide ranging. You may defeat all pets with just two of yours or fail to complete it at all. Your first pet is a Dire Big Hatchling with Falcosaur Swarm, Iron Skin and Predatory Strike. 
your second pet is a sharp talon hatchling with Altaso Swarm, Wild Winds, and Predatory Strike. And finally, a fledgling Nether Ray or similar pet with a bonus damage to flying ability such as Arcane Blast. Start with Iron Skin, followed by Falcon Swarm until After Feathers uses Lift Off. Once Falcon Swarm is finished and Feathers has used Lift Off, cast Predatory Strike, and then continue to swarm until Feathers is defeated. If your Diabeak is defeated early, bring in your Sharp Talon and cast Predator Strike or Wild Winds to finish off Feathers. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. If your Diabeak was the active pet, cast Falcosaur Swarm followed by Predatory Strike if possible and then Falcosaur Swarm until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Sharp Talon if not in already, cast Predator Strike if a Shattered Defense's debuff is present, followed by Wild Winds and Falcosaur Swarm if needed. If no Shattered Defense's debuff was present, Start with Wild Winds, followed by Swarm, and then Predatory Strike. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. If your Sharp Talon's health is low, then just use Falcosaur Swarm until defeated. If you have a decent amount of health, start with Wild Winds, followed by Falcosaur Swarm, and Predatory Strike if possible. If and when your Sharp Talon is defeated, your Nether Ray or similar pet enters. Just spam your bonus damage to flying ability until the fight is won. As mentioned, the RNG here is wide ranging, so difficult to predict how far each pet will survive. Next we have human resources. Your first pet is a helper with Ice Lance, Call Blizzard and Gift of Winter's Veil. Your second pet is a Kunlai Runt or similar pet with Takedown and Rampage. And finally a second helper with Ice Lance, Call Blizzard and Gift of Winter's Veil. Start with Call Blizzard. Now use Ice Lance until Feathers uses Lift Off. Once Feathers uses Lift Off, cast Gift of Winter's Veil. And now use Call Blizzard on cooldown and Ice Lance to fill until Feathers is defeated. If your helper is defeated early by Feathers, bring in your Runt and cast Takedown to finish off Feathers. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. Swap to your Runt if not in already. Cast Rampage. The second round of Rampage should take Splat's health low enough so that it uses Burst and defeats itself. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. Swap out to your second helper. Cast Gift of Winter's Veil on cooldown, Call Blizzard on cooldown and Ice Lance to fill until the fight is done. Now for Magician's Secrets. Your first pet is a Jade Oozling with Ooze Touch, Corrosion and Acidic Goo. Your second pet is Willy with Tongue Lash, Eye Blast and Rot. And finally an Empowered Mana Fiend or similar pet with Arcane Blast, Surge of Power and Arcane Storm. Follow this priority. Apply Acidic Goo followed by Corrosion. If Feathers uses Lift Off and avoids one of these, cast it on the next round, then Ooze Touch until Feathers is defeated. If your Oozling is defeated early, you can try finish off Feathers with Willy, but it's probably easier just to restart. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. Cast Acidic Go, followed by Corrosion if possible, and then if still not defeated, Ooze Touch until so. Once defeated, bring in Willy. Cast Eye Blast. Follow 
followed by Rot, and then Tongue Lash if needed until Splat is defeated. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters, swap out your Mana Fiend. Cast Arcane Storm and or Arcane Blast until Bright has the same or less health than the damage of your Surge of Power, at which point cast Surge of Power. Next up is Machine Learning. Your first pet is Tiny Tron, with Arcane Blast, Lightning Shield and Fire Shield. Your second pet is an Iron Starlet, with Wind Up, Power Ball and Supercharge. And finally, any level 25 mechanical pet, this is unlikely to be used. Start with Fire Shield, followed by Lightning Shield, and then spam Arcane Blast until Feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. Continue casting Arcane Blast until Splat is also defeated, which will usually be at the same time as your Tiny Tron. If Tiny Tron died early, use Power Ball on your Starlet to finish off Splat. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. If Tinytron is still alive, either cast Fire Shield followed by Lightning Shield, then Arcane Blast until defeated, or just spam Arcane Blast if your health is low. Once Tinytron is defeated, bring in your Iron Starlet, if not in already, cast Wind Up to Charge, Supercharge, and then Wind Up to Hit. This should finish off Bright. And finally, not quite dead yet. Your first pet is a Soul Broken Weltling with Shadow Talon. Your second pet is a Rising Saber Kitten with Pounce and Screech. And finally, a Son of Seth with Plague Blood, Touch of the Animus, and Drain Blood. Simply spam Shadow Talon until Feathers is defeated. Once Feathers is defeated, Splat enters. If your Soul Broken Welpling is still alive, continue to cast Shadow Talon until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Rising Saber Kitten, cast Screech, and then Pounce until Splat is defeated. Once Splat is defeated, Bright enters. Swap out your Son of Seth. Cast Touch of the Animus. Followed by Drain Blood. Now use Drain Blood on cooldown, Touch of the Animus on cooldown, and Plate Blood to fill until the fight is done. Hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.